What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. I mean, I guess y'all should be saying welcome back to me because I've been going for almost a year, uh, but a lot has happened, y'all. Obviously, I'm bald now. I got, you know, there's just so many things that happen behind the scenes that y'all don't even know about. And uh, yes, going bald was a conscious decision that I had to do. I was getting the LeBron James going. You, you know what I'm talking about, the cat ears, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I wasn't going out like that. So I wanted to go bald on my own terms. Um, it's not like, you know, health reasons or nothing like that. I'm 100% healthy. Um, and speaking of health, you know, I just jumped back into the gym. Fitness was my was my life a while ago. And, uh, you know, life happened. Last year was a year. I know y'all tired of talking about it. I'm not even gonna talk about it. We just, it's 2021, we here now. So this this is where we at. So wh why am I in my living room? Well, technically like my kitchen, dining room, slash living room, whatever. Uh, the whole reason I wanted to do this, and I gotta give credit to Carlos Stiggs. Uh, I just start following this guy, but I mean, he's really, really cool about how he sets up his lighting breakdowns and just does a whole bunch of stuff on this channel. So y'all, ch that, oh, messed that up. You can tell it's been a long time. Y'all check his channel out. I'll leave a link to his uh, channel info down in the description. But uh, he does a thing on this channel where it's like lighting cinematography practice. And I was like, dang, like that's like, that stuff right there is like worth a subscribe, especially to me, because when you see somebody that's literally just setting up all their gear and practicing a real life scenario and just literally learning, but in the form of a YouTube video, it almost made me feel like I was there with them and I, I was able to learn. And literally that's the whole reason why I created a book light and did all this stuff. I got some behind the scenes footage that I'll show y'all here in a second, but I did all of this because it was cool to see how he was practicing and taking everyday things that he do in his house and whatever he had you know, available to him, didn't go out and spend any new money, didn't go to you know, rent a, a location or anything like that and just create it within his home. And I was like, man, that's genius. And you know, I wanna piggyback off of that and do something similar on the channel where I just kinda you know, show you guys just new things and I just jump out of my comfort zone a little bit it, set up the camera, do something different, set up a book like, you know, just have fun with it. Like that's, that's filmmaking. That's what got me interested in this. I'll just jump into it real quick to talk about kind of what I put together. So I did do a book light. Uh, I made these like bounce boards. I saw a YouTube video a while back and I thought that was a really clever way, but I actually originally built these uh, as flags because I didn't have any like flags that I could use when I'm filming outside and stuff like that. Uh, my dog is right back there. So if y'all hear like some dog stuff, that's my dog. Uh, anyways, so back to the set. So we've got a big bounce back here uh, that my VL, my Godox VL 300 is uh, shining right into that. That's bouncing directly through this huge sheet of diffusion. There's my dog, that's my dog. And then we've got another smaller piece of bounce over here that's acting as kind of like my fill light. Uh, it was a little too dark on the right side and I wanted to kind of lift the shadows just a little bit. I've got a, I've got a kicker light back here that's shining on this ball. Hey, y'all see it? That kicker light shining on the ball dome up there. Uh, that's another Godox VL150. It's a little bit different. So I, I, I will tell y'all, if y'all ever filming with somebody that's bald, lighting is a little bit different. Like it, it looks, it, it hit the head differently. Like that's basically what I'm saying. And it bounced, like it, it hits my head, but it bounces right off. It just like, and then I've also got a couple Aperture MCs that are shining on that back sign. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. So originally that was dark. And then directly behind me, I've got just a two foot quasar and that light is actually filling in that back wall right under the TV. So it's really making that area there uh, a little bit brighter. It doesn't kind of fall off into pure darkness. And then all the way over here in the back is another uh, Kame TV RGB light set to 3300. And I got that at about 20% just shining up. It's literally just sitting on the desk there or the table, whatever my wife put there. It's just sitting there shining straight up. I'm super happy. I don't know if y'all can tell. I've been just rambling. It's been what? It's, uh, it's been about eight minutes, nine minutes. I'm about to cut it. This was supposed to be a short video. Uh, but yeah, I will definitely be back making you know YouTube videos real soon. Got a lot of fun projects coming up, especially one in April that I can't go into too many details on. Been rehearsing saying that. My wife got that on TikTok. Um, can't wait to show y'all though. This is gonna be a fun project at the end of April and uh, lots and lots of effort going into it. Um, so stick around. Uh, we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. I've always done that, by the way. I've I started the whole peace thing. There's a lot of people on YouTube that's doing that, but if you go way back to my videos, I ended them with peace. That was me. All right, that was me. Now all these other big names doing it, I started it. So don't comment down below talking about oh you stole that from wah wah wah. No, they took it from me.
All right, believe that. I'm out. Yo, what's up, homie? Yo, what's up, dude? Bro, I got you. Uh, you on speakerphone, man? I'm on a YouTube video. You ready to see this? I was gonna put a lamp back there, but uh, the baby was asleep. That was the only lamp we got in the house. Believe it or not, it's in the baby room, and she's sleeping. We ain't waking her up.